Welcome to the training on the Wingmate web dashboard in Simple CRM. This quick video is for managers and salespeople who want to learn a high level of how to use the dashboard. You should have received an email and or text with your username and password. Use the Wingmate mobile app for sending leads on the go and the web dashboard to work them. You can use the same login credentials for both. Let's start with your pipeline. You can see the names of your sales cycle along the top. At the top left, you can select your view, and just to the left is the search bar. In the top right, you've got some options under the Wingmate logo. You can also access analytics, reminders, and notifications. For users with admin access, you can access the admin console. Also, one thing to keep in mind, don't miss the expand button on the far right middle of the screen to expand and open up your pipeline. To start, let's dive into the detailed view of a lead. This is where you can work and update your leads. At the top, managers can assign leads by selecting a user from the dropdown, right here. Please note that only accounts with manager access can assign leads. When you assign a lead, the person you assign the lead to is notified via email and has access to view it. Below the assignment dropdown, you can ask your lead generator more details. Whoever captured the lead will be notified and prompted to respond in the app. It's the perfect way to get extra details from your staff in the field. Next is reminders. You can set reminders by clicking the set a reminder button. Choose the date and time you'd like to be reminded. On that day, you'll receive an email and notification in Wingmate. You can also add them to your preferred calendar like Outlook or Google Calendar. By clicking the red link under the reminder date, you'll be able to add it to your calendar. When finished with a reminder, you can mark it as completed by clicking the green check or delete it with the red X. To set a longer term reminder or archive a lead, you can click the archive slash future opportunity button. The difference here is the lead will be moved to a separate stage in your pipeline. This is good for prospects with contract end dates in the future or people who are not interested now but may be down the line. Moving to the right hand side, you have the lead status, the image if there is one, and all the information about the lead. To start, we can change the lead status by clicking the desired stage. You can also change the lead status in the pipeline view by dragging and dropping the lead. Below the lead, you can track all the information around it, starting with the ability to upload proposals right here. Underneath the image, you can rate the lead out of five stars here, and you can actually search by this later on. Below that, you have your custom field set up based on the information your company would like to track. To edit a custom field, type or make a selection. It will save automatically. Be sure to input the dollar value of the lead or deal once you know it. Moving down, we have the geocoded address of the lead, the lead creator, and a few other options under the ellipsis. The address is synced up with Google Maps, and if you click the map link, you can see your lead pinned out on a map and all the surrounding businesses. I'll touch on this a bit later in the map view. Last but not least, we have the common and update section. Here's where you can log updates and communicate with your team. Comments you put here will be shared with the lead generator, giving you real-time conversations. When leaving an update, you can log a regular update, a call, an email, or an in-person meeting. If you'd like to mention a user or bring them in on a lead, you can tag the user by adding them. To add a user, tap the add sign and then their name or tag. You can also use the address book icon on the right to see the options of who you can add. Everything you do on a lead should be logged and reflected here in the updates. This includes the history of the lead from status changes to past and future reminders and team communication. To return back home, click the company logo at the top left of your screen. Anytime you're trying to get back to the pipeline view, this logo will take you back there. Let's dive a little bit deeper into managing reminders. In the top right corner, by clicking the calendar icon, you can see all your reminders at a bird's eye view. This will show you your overdue, upcoming, and completed reminders. If you have manager access, you can even see each individual user's reminders by toggling the name in the top right. Let's go back home. Next, we'll cover searching through your leads. Click the search leads button to find exactly what you are looking for. You can search through your leads by filling in your criteria. Once you submit your search criteria, your search will appear in the list view. 
We have plenty of options to search by, and you could submit multiple queries in one search. You can even use the keywords function at the top that works similar to how a Google search would work. Once you search, you have the option to export your search to a clean, organized spreadsheet with all the information on your leads. Or if you're a manager, you can even mass reassign your search to a different user by clicking the mass reassign text. As you can see in the top left, there are three ways to view your leads. The pipeline view, the list view, and the map view. If we click the map icon, we'll move on to the map view. Here's where you can see all your leads pinned out by satellite and color-coded by deal stage. You can also geofence a certain area by zooming in on an area you'd like to target and then exporting it to a spreadsheet. Our integration with Google Satellite allows you to toggle between views from satellite to map and see all the surrounding business information. This is the perfect tool for building density around your customers and even when you start the day, planning where you're going to visit. Let's return home and touch a few more features in the pipeline view. On the top left corner of each lead, you will see a lead lifeline. We call this lead health. Green is great, meaning there is a future reminder on the lead. Yellow means there is no future touch point set. Orange means there is no future touch point set and it hasn't been updated in over 10 days. And red means in over 30 days. By hovering over the lead health, you can see more details. By hovering over the little human icon beside the lead health, you will see the user that has been assigned to that lead. By clicking the red ellipsis, you will see more custom field information on the lead from this high-level pipeline view. Also, you can change the status of a lead simply by picking it up and dragging and dropping it into its desired stage. If you're on the go, you may want to use the mobile app to capture leads into the dashboard. But if you're at your desk, you're going to want to add it from the web dashboard. You can do this by clicking the plus button in the bottom right hand corner of the simple CRM. Fill out information on the lead and it will appear in your dashboard the same way it would as if you captured it with the mobile app. If you want to add a profile picture or update your communication settings, you can do so under the wingmate bird in the top right corner. Managers with admin access can also go into the admin console here. Lastly, I'd like to cover analytics and personal stats. To access reporting, click the graph icon in the top right of the dashboard. Those with manager access will be able to get detailed reporting and insights into their team. Those with mid-level or sales rep access will get detailed personal stats to measure their own performance. At the top of the analytics, we have export options to pull the data from the platform. Next, we have Leads Overview to show you your lead submission trends every seven days. Almost all the analytics that I cover today can be toggled by date and individual users in the top left and right corners of the section. Next, we have Conversion Rates, which shows you percentages and whole numbers by deal stage. Then, Revenue Overview, based on the amounts entered and accumulated from each lead stage. Next, there is Team Performance, covering each rep and how many leads they have assigned to them. If you click the user's name, you can break it down by stage and value. Then we have team activities, where you can track each individual activity like phone calls, emails, updates, reminders, and many more. To remove an activity or metric from any graph, toggle it on and off by clicking it. Next we have leaderboards that can be toggled by user type and date. This covers actual leads submitted. Then we have lead breakdown, giving you a high level picture of leads by stage. And last but not least, we have lead velocity, showing you on average how long a lead is sitting in a certain stage. Analytics are a great way to measure and track your team's performance. That concludes our high level training of the simple CRM for managers and salespeople. Remember, we can customize this for you in any way needed. Please reach out if you have any questions or suggestions. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our support resources like Wingmate Flight School at support.wingmateapp.com.